Hey, what's going on guys? We're going to take a look at a comparison video of the Belden, the 1694A versus the 1505A coax cable. Now, both of these cables, they are part of Belden's broadcasting uh, coaxial cable category. The 1694A, it does mention that it has a HD SDI precision video cable printed on the jacket. You also notice it's 4.5 gigahertz. Now the the other cable here does mention HDTV, but uh, there is no SDI HD SDI mentioned on the jacket. But it is also 4.5 gigahertz rated. Now both of these cables they are PVC rated. They both do have a copper center conductor, actually a bare copper conductor, not a copper clad, nothing like that. So the signal is actually going to be better for you on long runs. The insulation is the same, the foam from both of these, and the shield is the same. You have a foil shield, and you also have a braided shield. Now, the 1694A, it is an 18, you have an 18 gauge center copper conductor. The 1505A is a 20 gauge copper conductor. And the 1505A is a RG59 coax cable. The 1694A is an RG6 coax cable. Now the 16, the 1694A is the diameter of the jacket is also a little bit bigger compared to the other one. And of course it's not as flexible as the smaller cable. Now I think the probably the most important thing you want to consider when it comes to both of these cables is the HD SDI signal, the maximum transmission distance. Now, according to Belden, the 1694A, you can get that signal to go up to 364 feet. The 1505A, you can get that to go up to 308 feet. So if you've got some short runs, this probably be a better cable for you. Probably a little bit cheaper than the RG6. But they're more than likely going to be able to take care of mm, probably most of what you're doing out there. In our next video, we're going to compare the 1694A versus the 1855A. Check out the YouTube channel. Thanks.